breaking news. Welcome to today's headlines. I am the only presidential aspirant who is speaking with Unnam Dekano and Sunday Igboho. I am the only presidential aspirant who is speaking with Unnam Dekano and Sunday Igbo, says the Lima model. So to my dear listeners, from wherever you are listening from, please stay tuned as I read to this news. As the 2023 presidential election gets nearer, many aspirants have been interviewed by men of the press. Many hours ago, the ovation boss, Chief Dele Momodu, was interviewed concerning his 2023 ambition and he made some revealing statement. Chief Dele Momodu tried to strike a difference between him and other presidential hopefuls saying, Do you know, I am the only presidential aspirant who is speaking with Unnam Dekano and Sunday Igboho. He continued, Since Sunday Igbo was imprisoned, I have been speaking with him, and since Unnam Dekano was arrested, I have been talking to him through his lawyers. According to him, all other presidential aspirants are not interested in the masses, but the power alone. To him, being a leader encompasses taking each other and every citizen along without being biased or unjust. He said, There was a time the leader of the proscribed indigenous people will of the Afro Alipo group, Mazi Unnam Dekanu, told me I am the solution to Nigeria's problem. Again, Chief Dele Mamodo strongly believes that if Nigeria was a working nation, nobody will ever think of secession as we have it today. He said, if the South is disrespected by any government, the administration will go far because South Easterners are gifted like the Chinese like the Chinese people who produce most of what they utilize in their country. As the 2023 presidential, presidential election gets nearer, many aspirants have been interviewed by men of the press. Many hours ago, the ovation boss, Chief the Lemon Model, was interviewed concerning his ambition and he made some revealing statements. Chief the Lemon Model tried to strike a difference between him and other presidential hopefuls, saying, Do you know I am the only presidential aspirant? Who is speaking with Unnam Dekano and Sunday Igbo? He continued, Since Sunday Igbo was imprisoned, I have been speaking with him, and since Unnam Dekano was arrested, I have talking I have been talking to him through his lawyers. According to him, all other presidential aspirants are not interested in the masses but the power alone to him being a leader encompasses taking each other and every citizen along without being biased or unjust he said there was a time the leader of the proscribed indigenous people of the afra group mazi unnam dekanu told me i am the solution to nigerian's problem 
again, Chief Dele Mumodo strongly believes that if Nigeria was a working nation, nobody will ever think of secession as we have it today. He said if the South is disrespected by any government, the administration will go far because Southeasterners are gifted like the Chinese people who produce most of what they utilize in their country. As the 2023 presidential election gets nearer, many aspirants have been interviewed by men of the press. Many hours ago, the ovation boss, Chief Dele Momodu, was interviewed concerning his 2023 ambition and he made some revealing statements. Chief Dele Momodu tried to strike a difference between him another presidential presidential of full saints do you know i'm the only presidential aspirant who is speaking with unam dekano and sunday Ibo? he continued since sunday Ibo was imprisoned i have been speaking with him and since unam dekano was arrested i have been talking to him through his lawyers According to him, all other presidential aspirants are not interested in the masses, but the power alone. To him, being a leader encompasses taking each and every citizen along without being biased or unjust. He said there was a time the leader of the proscribed indigenous people of the Afro Hip-Hop group, Mazi Unamdekano, told me. I am the solution to Nigerians' problem. Again, Chief Dele Momodu strongly believes that if Nigeria was a working nation, nobody will ever think of secession as we have it today. He said, if the South East is respected by any government, the administration will go far because South Easterners are gifted like the Chinese people who produce most of what they utilize in their country. So my dear listeners, now we've come to the end of our today's news. Please do drop by at the comment section and let us know what your view is all about. Thank you for listening.